All right, guys. I appreciate you joining me again. Well, I was uh, doing some recordings and uh, had this, all, or was trying to do some recordings, got this all set up, and then realized uh, I accidentally double clicked and uh, completely didn't get this all recorded. Not only did I set up the initial altar, but I also did the upgraded one too. Yeah, how awesome is that? Yeah. <laughs> so, I feel kind of dumb, but that's all right. So, here is the here's the altar that I just I set up for this. Got the starlight craft, need the starlight crafting altar, the chisel marble, marble arch, marble bricks, sooty marble pillars. Uh it's actually it's pretty straightforward. The city marble, you know, you can obviously see what that is. The marble bricks, they are exactly what you see they are right there. Under the pillars, you actually have the chiseled marble, a pillar, a pillar, and then a chiseled marble stacked on top of each other. Okay, so just make sure you don't do that because initially I thought it was going to be marble bricks under there, but it was actually the chiseled marble and then two pillars and then another chiseled marble. Okay, so, but there we are. Nice, nice little altar. Obviously this will get, uh, I will uh, upgrade this a little further, not too much longer, but I also went ahead and made that. That, let's get all the way back over here, is a spectral relay. Okay, you can see the Father Resonator can find fields of intense starlight to harness the energy problem moving the infrastructure to the vast areas. So what you can do is build one of these uh, and it'll help amplify the power that you're getting from the stars. Now what I did was I noticed that when I was initially had this set up, I was only getting, you know, maybe a little over half to about three quarters in the middle of the night. You know, at a Y of a 98, you know, we could go up higher if we wanted to and get a little more power out of it, but I figured, okay, you know what? We probably don't need to do that. So I went up, I built that, I think it's about 13 high from here, and uh, put the relay on top of it so that at night it actually focuses even more power so we will actually get a full bar of power out of this. So I don't actually have to go find anything. That makes it really nice since I don't have to go searching for the fields and stuff. Probably should go look and find them at some point just so I can see, we can see, I can show you what it's like. But there it is. I also went ahead, made a light well. You can see there's some liquid starlight in there. You will need that for some of these recipes. Uh, basically just put one of your aquamarines or one of your, your crystals on there. Uh, hope put it in your hand, right click it, it sits it on top, and then just starts collecting. Obviously, do it at night, you get more out of it. But uh, once you put the crystal on, you can't take it off. It will sit there and collect until it destroy. It gets destroyed and consumed. Okay, so we got a decent little start going up here on that. Now we're going to start looking. We'll probably start looking at getting all the all the looking glass. We'll need to get one of the another one of these set up. I thought I had one, but I mean, oh, yeah, I do. It's right here. So I definitely like to show you guys what that does once it gets to be nighttime, which we still got a little bit of time to kill. So, but not too hard to, to get, obviously. So now that we've got this set up, we got a tomb it, we got discovery. Let's go over here to discovery. Oops. This was the initial crafting table. Okay, uh, nothing else there. So when I built this altar, that gave me the uh, access to attunement. You can see there is a ton more stuff in here now. So, telescope. Just get some sticks, a couple pieces of gold, some planks, and make our looking glass. So basically once we make it, we'll just set it up here on the altar. Here's the looking glass. Again, we're not too hard to do. It 
discovered constellations. These is actually how you can actually end up getting the attunements taken care of because you can scribe your constellations and or a, and uh, be able to use the attunements. So we will need to get that at some point. We're going to want to get crystal lens. It's because you can redirect the focus of the starlight over over a distance. So if we find one of those little star field areas to give it greater power, we could put some lenses down and refocus the power over towards our altar, give us that much more power to use, right? Uh, we definitely need to see about getting some Lincoln ones. We've got impul impulsion wand. And this is a nice way to travel. Now it pulls you to that area rather than doing an instant port. So you do have to be careful when you use it. So we will eventually need to get the Stardust, which is actually not difficult because you use the iron transmutation to get it. Throw down your blocks of iron. Now you are going to lose the iron, the block, or the extra iron by not processing it. But you get to the so. Now, as far as you can use the iron transmutation, we can use the star metal. You know, using that, you do you don't get to process it, and which means you can get a star metal, but you only get one out of it at a time. So, right. So that's unfortunate, but that's okay because well, there's a lot of good stuff that we can do with that. So looks like the sun's just about down. So. We've got activating, what's this? Activating channel. Channel starts energy with bare hands, fails. Uh, what exactly does it get to do? Oh, you get a couple different colors you get to pick. Use a wielding bit of drain afterwards. I engage. I uh, definitely need to look at that a little more. Alignment charge, star metal. Eventually, we, here's the attunement stuff. Look at that bad boy, that big multi-structure, 19 by 19. That is huge. Absolutely huge. Question becomes, where would we put that bad boy? Would we just want to build another platform right here and uh, go from here? I mean, that might, because, I mean, this is going to get bigger as it is. So build another platform just off back behind here. Probably the better idea. We don't necessarily want to go and put it up over there away from everything. So, all right. So let's take a look at this fun resonator. Since it is nighttime now, so let's go. Let's go for a walk. That, what does that zombie want? He's dead. And there's a spider back there too. Got him. Look at all the fairies over there. The creeper. Oh, missed him that time. A little low. There we go. All right, so the big deal is we need to find a star field, All right? So let's go walk over there. Pretty confident we'll be able to live with anything we come across. I like that guy. Uh, almost. <laughs> Take him out. I love the fairies. It's pretty cool. Whoa. Zombies. Anybody else? Looks like there's a golem right there. Got 
Got him. More skellies. Bringing me that ingot. Nice. Got a lot of zombies floating around here. Oh. And there's blazes too. Oh. Thanks for the help there. Oh, and he got the other guy. What? Who's shooting me? Thought I got hit from somebody else. No? Still don't see any of the uh, star fields. I had a enchanted bow. Ah, freaking golems everywhere. Gotcha. Well, let's take a walk. Let's see if we can't find a spot without getting beat up too much. Uh oh, hello. More. There's a witch. I don't see any right now. This is getting a little dangerous to be out here. Oh. Uh, skeletons right there. Several skeletons right there. Get rid of you. Did he just shoot him? Almost. Yeah, we'll just move on out. This is getting a little too crazy. Rid of you, you, you. <laughs> Oops. Let's get rid of all those guys. Need to head back and get across over here. They're a little dangerous. Damn. I wonder if it'd be easier to just jump in a boat. Go go somewhere with this out. Let's go try. Where are all my boats? Oh, there there is.
Oh, yeah, it's down or something under the water down there. See if I can spin around so you can see it if you haven't seen it already. See down in the water all the speckles and stuff, and how it like has that that, that uh, little like fog. There you go. See all that? That's the field you're talking about. That is the starlight field. It actually empowers your altar. So if you can build uh, your altar over the top of one of those, you get that much more power to the altar. It doesn't have to be right on top of you. You can have it all the way up in the sky as long as it's in the vertical of that, of that field. So. It's kind of sucks that it wasn't uh, at least on the ground, above ground. Is there any more? Probably gonna be a probably be another one because they're usually not too sparse. There's probably probably another one underwater somewhere close by. All right. Anyway. So that's the deal with that. I do like it. So now this daytime, we'll go ahead and we'll just set these in here for now. All right, so showed you the light well. We got the altar set up and everything. So really now we need to kind of uh, kind of work towards uh, some other stuff to do. Uh, another thing I did is I went and upgraded my flux capacitor. So now I've got I can hold nine million RF. Which means it could be I can be sitting out mining that much longer uh, period of time. Of course, you know once I once I drain that thing, it literally kills my uh, my my power storage. Like I can each one of those only holds a thousand RF or sorry a million RF. So I've got five of them. Yeah, do the math. <laughs> So, it, what I did is to help speed up the process. I put I did two sides of the hardened flux duct to get to feed it the power, so that it would because it will just suck the power clear out of it, and I mean fast. So, what I did is I did a little bit of alteration on the uh, power output too, as you can see. Right, uh, I need to change that just a little bit though. Because I want the stuff, I want it coming out of that one versus having it tied to these other four, just these other four. So I should probably just need to tie it over here then, and then I can pop those out. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put all the marble in the dank for right now and we will go ahead and unload all this other stuff I do need to pair my arrow I'm sure what that is oh, I have all that stuff right there so fire charges those all there. Let me grab and prepare my arrow real quick. So I'll need to make some more malleum. There we go. And a bucket. And if you didn't notice diamond chest give me more room but I am <laughs> I've already got it almost full uh, crescent hammer so what we're gonna do take that off actually I need to leave that there I need to break that connection and bloodstone. That's the one I want. That guy. So breaks and then break 
make that connection. There we go. Okay, so we've got it set up the way I want it to go. All right, and I also went ahead and replaced a lot of a lot of the uh, flux duct around here, just to make sure I've got everything situated the way I was wanting it. Still need to finish off this stuff. I got these automated. In case, in case you were wondering, <laughs> this tree, this tree grew right up and over, almost into the farm. So it's kind of funny. So that's good. Got all this down. I could probably get rid of that one. Let's back up here, since I did run it over there. Got all the flux duct over there. And here, oh yeah. Yeah, you can see these are actually growing pretty good right now. Ah. Give me some, wish to give me some more uh, ender lilies. I'd be happy. As you can see, we're getting, we're starting, able to get some uh, ender pearls going pretty quick. So, all right. So, what do we need to really kind of focus on at the moment? Mm, farms are basically done. Uh, let's see. We could do the alt the altar, but I don't think we need to do that right now. Signalum item ducts, filters, and servos. I think we'd, we'll be okay at that for for the time being. We want to do a little bit of design work up here. What do we how? What if we uh, let's see about let's see if, oops sorry let's see, how about the exchanger let's, let's see about upgrading the exchanger so that we can start working on the uh, flooring uh, let's see that's pretty big Hungarian the resin let's see. We're not quite to the Signalum one yet. We can get to this one. That's a 11 by 11, so that's probably good. We need some Electrum. Electrum. Some blend. We need a silver, silver and gold one to one ratio. Okay. We have a few pieces of electrum. So, how much silver do we have? We got a decent amount of tin now. Lots of iron, lead. Oh, look at all that silver. Uh, I don't know if I want to use a full stack of gold. So, we'll just go this route. Let's see, what is that? 9, 18, 27. Can't do them all. Let's do most of it for right now. It melts the silver down real quick, so. down to the bottom just to be prepared for it. And just let that do its thing. And uh, it's on the bottom. We'll go ahead and start making some ingots here.
Did not mean to do that. So you can see this is one of those times where I think it tends to work out better to just melt everything down in here uh, than go through the whole process of process reprocessing everything. Just throw it all in there, let it melt down, and then you just sit here and make your ingots. It doesn't take any time. You're more actively doing it versus standing there waiting on it, especially when you're needing to just wait on this. As you can see, we now have a full stack of electrons. Okay, so we were working on the reinforced one. Yes. Okay, so we got that. So we got that. We'll need to upgrade the the actual exchanger. So that's the exchanger. So in order to go to the hard exchanger. We need some invar. Right, we need a bucket, a bucket of raisin, raisin ender. So, we're gonna need one for each one. Doesn't look like it, but that's a good chance of it. So, since I don't know, I'm exactly sure. I'll just go ahead and put that down. Put that down. Put that down. I was confusing two items. Okay. Okay, so while that's going, we need to so what do we need to work on now? We need the see, gold. We need a couple of these, so we need a couple of gold and some red stuff. So we'll just grab a stack of this one. So probably gonna go through a few of those. So I've got some of that. I need in bar. Which in bar do we have? Not a ton. 
Uh, I don't think we need more than that at the moment. And other than this, so we'll need a couple more things here. Copper, lead, sulfur. Okay. So we'll grab a few pieces of copper. Lead. More pieces of Angor. So we've got this one. We're good there. Right? So we have to make this one. We need to make these. So we'll go ahead and make two of those. And that guy. Oh, we need some iron. Okay. We're definitely gonna go through a few resources doing this though. Man. At least I gotta make that other one. On this, we definitely need one of those. Alright, here we go. So we need to make the thing I did some mining. There we go. Definitely one of those. That. That's 10. Okay. Grab a few of those. Well, as you can see, I'm actually just going through making it all. We need another one of those guys. Alright, so here is two of those. And this guy. Now means to make that guy boom, so I'm at the hardening exchanger. Sweet. Now, what do we, we need? Lithium transmitter. Uh, what is that? Silver? Okay. Need some silver. Okay. Do, 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 do. Iron, move you up there. Over. A couple of those. Just need a couple of those guys. So now we need this guy, which we have none of. Alright, so that's bronze gears, in bar gears. Another one of those, so we need some more lead, some more copper. Yeesh. We need right. four. We need four more of those. Uh, I don't think we're, gonna, we're not going to have enough of the uh, for the ender pearls on this. Okay, so that's fine. We can. Sit on this for right now, but you did see it, so that's good. Go ahead and put all this back in here for the time being. All right, so that does a seven by seven. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is good. 
guys. It looks like a good place to stop. I appreciate you watching as always. Uh, please join me again next time. Have a good one. See ya.